Good day everyone, it's your boy. I don't know why I'm calling myself a boy because I'm a grown man, like my son is turning 10. No? <laughs> Good day everyone, it's Bahuling. Welcome, welcome to Bahuling TV. I'm um, with my guy, uh, my long time friend from Univen. It's nice to meet you again, my guy. How old, my brother? It's been a while. No? It's been a while, like five, five years, six years. <laughs> Last time I met you we were at Riverside, near the street. Ah, I was ah, before your ah, wedding. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. It's been a while, man. Yes. But I'm glad we are surviving. We survived the storm of COVID-19. We survived Corona. Well, we survived retrenchment when people were getting retrenched. Now we are back again. Ah, we are here to document our story, my guy. Nothing much. Nothing hazy. We are chilling. We are having cognac. <coughs> oh, for sure. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. For more life. <laughs> Tell my people, who are you? Where are you from? Where are you going? Sure, sure, sure. Bahulin. Mm -hmm. Together, my man. My name is Rufu, no. Takarani, aka. Know me by West, this guy. <laughs> Univen, <laughs> University of Venda. Yeah. We've been there, grew up around Tando, at a village called Chaul. So, that's where I come from. Mm. Yeah, I met this guy at Univen around 2008. I started Univen 20, 2009. 2009, yeah, yes. Yeah. 2009. I was doing my first year. Yeah, I found me there. <laughs> 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 he found me there when I was busy doing education, Buffett. Mm. Education. I loved science, loved maths, I loved physics, I loved chemistry. So, yeah, I was doing that thing. Before we go there, because I know Bello are in academia. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you and books are the same thing. Ah. Do you still remember the first day we met? Mm, not really, wow. Not, not really. really, not really, not really. You tell me if I'm wrong, ne? Yeah. I think you were, you and your brother, you, you were staying at Karazan. Mm. And then me and Santu were staying at Karazan. Yeah. 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 I think that's the first time we met. And then, um, Apparently, if I'm not mistaken, you clipped with Nsansa for the first time before me. Yes. And then, uh, like, I was used to bring some, some girls there, and Nsansa was coming by your room. <laughs> yes. <laughs> to sleep over there. Yes, yes, yes. That's, the, that's where I remember, like, I know, that's, that's like the first time I, I met you. And, but it's been great since, because you used, you used to cheat and you used to buy, what you call it, a wine, tall horse. Tall horse. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was my favorite, man. Ah, it was a struggle back then. Uh, no. uh, it was affordable. <laughs> 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 it was affordable, my man. No. Yeah. Yeah, my two was was nice. I remember we even took a walk. Where we going? There was a um, sort of a radio station there by by when you go inside by when you as if you are going to 2010. Yeah. Where's yeah, that building? Yeah. yeah, we took we took we took a tour. Uh, it was you, yeah. Nkanka, uh Fortunate, and um, oh, it was was Oken part of it. Oh I can, no, I, can't I, th I think I think you are referring to my twenty first birthday. Uh, uh, no, uh, no, no, no. I remember uh, uh. the way we went, and then there was a like a tall building. We even took pictures, like on top of the building. Oh yes, that yeah, that was uh, the radio station. That was the radio station. The radio station, Parapara Para FM at, at, at Tando, the oh. Tando station. Nah. Yes, we went there, cause that station is mm. next to some uh, department there. Nah. Yeah, we were celebrating. We were celebrating what? We were celebrating. Uh, whose birthday was it? Who, who, who was it? <laughs> Even if it was nobody's birthday, we were celebrating because we always used to celebrate when we were chilling yeah. and not focusing on, on, on books all the time because yeah. friendship is very important, relation is very important, knowing people, getting to learn from uh, different people mm. is very important because if you do remember, like my guy, yeah. I, I think I was the only vendor guy in that uh, Among the crew. Yeah, among the crew. Yeah. And I was learning a lot of, of, of Pedi, uh, Swati. Yeah. I was learning your culture. Yeah. I was learning uh, Koketo's culture. Yeah. Uh, I told myself that, no, man, I must mingle. I must make sure that whatever I, I when I get out of here, yeah. 
at least if i don't travel i know places where people come from and how they they, mm. they are and how they live and try to make sure that yeah. Sisonke. Sisonke. I remember we're africans <laughs> i remember you even started a, what you call it a whatsapp group for a reunion yeah <laughs> <laughs> i was like oh, why is this serious <laughs> ah, i was calling everyone come yeah. back come, come back, back to come van. back to van that guys come on but before before we dwell in Masha, i want you to take me back on your first life um i mean first days at univan when you're doing mm. your first year like mm. uh, education was it your like your first choice or like you had any other intention to do or it ended up falling doing education like, tell me on your first day is it you yeah. so i won't <clears throat> i will not uh, tell you about my first day so yeah. i'll start a little bit back mm-hmm. yeah i'll start a little bit back because when i was high at high school mm-hmm. with my grade 12 mm-hmm. you know my brother and i are two two years apart so less than two years apart. The, the one that I know. Yeah, the one that you know. Yeah. The one that you know. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he was at university mm-hmm. when I was in high school. And you know, back then, the finances were not good, you know. Uh, so even if you got your NAS pass, yeah. you, you used to pay like about 60%. You have to pay the other 60% from, back, yeah. Uh, from the family. You mm-hmm. know. So I passed my grade 12 for the first time. My brother was at university. Yeah, in Rokota. We couldn't afford for him and me to be at the university. So I went back to yeah. do grade 12. I did grade 12 twice. For what reason? Because he passed. <clears throat> so that I pushed time. Oh, you're yeah, joking. And try to find something Sir that us. I can do in my life. So I did grade 12 the second time. Not, not because only, you fooled, not, not because o- you failed. No, I didn't fail. <clears throat> In fact, I got married by that time. <laughs> Just to make sure that I stay away from trouble. Yeah. And at the same time, try to find opportunities that I can, uh, I can use or apply to. Mm. So during my second year at grade 12, I was trying to apply then, 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 whatever could come. Mm. So that I try and have a better future, man. So the opportunity came. I heard that, hey, education, eh? you can get in. Go, 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 go. Education is for No, you have math. They want math people. Yeah. Just go. They want science people. Yeah. Just go. I'm like, oh, I know science. I know math. I can fit in there. Yeah. And it was an easy journey from there to enter the university while you were registering under math and science. After that, yeah. uh, my bazaar followed. We had that Limpopo uh, education bazaar. Yeah. Uh, it was giving uh, funds, you know. Mm. It was nice. You no, know, it was very nice. It was very nice, very nice. So I went there. Mm. First year, did it. Second <coughs> year, did it. Struggled second year, but uh, managed to realize where the struggle is mm. and how to improve. And then. I think I met you when I was doing my third year. At Carousel. At Carousel. Because that wasn't my first year. It was it was my third year. My mind was already opened to a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. It was already open to a lot of things. That's why in Chancha always we became friends because we would always say, Hey, where? <laughs> we are cool. <laughs> Start Daniel. <laughs> you're always studying. You're always studying. Yeah, you're only studying. Ah, come on. Need to relax and say, hey, hey, hey yeah. wait, I'll see you when I come back. Wait. And then uh, that's when we, we clicked because it was the guy who was, hey, mm. hey, we're serious. Wait. Hey, serious. Hey, we're serious. We're serious. We're serious. Then I showed him that I'm not always serious. Yeah. <laughs> by by <intolerance>. <laughs> <laughs> So we hang out. Uh, so what, it, what, I'm, what I'm taking from you is that um, you took education because the parts that we are available, right? I had an opportunity to better myself. Yeah. I took that opportunity. Mm. But at the <clears throat> end of my degree, mm. I realized something that. Uh, from young age, I used to What's that? Uh, fix stuff, <laughs> try to do this. I was very good at it. Yeah. And I'm referring real, to IT um, now. Yeah, I'm referring to, to, to being a technician, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, touching stuff, fixing stuff. Mm. Then I realized that no, man, I'm also good at, 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 at 
maths. I'm also good at science. Yeah. I just have to have confidence and uh, got an opportunity to, to go to various places. Yeah. Eh? Uh, and then when I won certain things or certain competitions, mm. like I went to, to astronomy. I was the best student. Yeah, I remember. I oh, you're, still, student. you're still at Vasi, in time yes, we go to yes, astronomy. Yes. Yeah. I was given a award <clears> that uh, my research was the best, yeah. the best presentation, and so on. Then I realized now, man, God, me, God put me here hmm. for a reason. This was a challenge that I had to, to face and win. I'm also good at presenting, teaching. Yeah. So it wasn't, it wasn't like. Uh, a default to, yeah. be, to be to be here on the teaching profession. Mm -hmm. It wasn't. So from that moment, I realized, no, I can do this. I was meant to do this. Yeah. Even if my got other dreams and other passion, mm. I still can do this. Wherever I go, I must perfect my skill. Mm. So I did that. You did it, and you perfected. You killed it. Tell me about your brother. The time you go back to high school. Mm. To repeat your, your, what you call it, your grade 12. Mm. What was he doing by that time? He was studying uh, biochemistry. It's University of Venice. University of Venice. Yeah. Biochemistry. He was in, everybody in my family did math and science. Yeah. So he was in biochemistry. Okay. Then he dropped out. He went to work at Jobbeck, got some jobs. And then uh, it wasn't doing well. Mm. When I was doing my, I think I was doing my second year at university, I told him, hey, you're a math guy also, you're yeah. a science guy, come yeah. back to him. There's a buzzery here, mm. uh, which I'm using. You can also do teaching mm. and um, better yourself. So that's why he came back. He came because, back. Yeah, he came back. He also got the same buzzer yeah. that I had and we were... And you happened we were, to stay with him. Yeah, we were together, we stayed <laughs> together and uh, uh, we managed to, to do that. Yeah. We managed to do that. And he killed it. Yeah, he killed it. Yeah. Oh, he's the best. He's the, <laughs> he's the best. He's the best, man. He killed it. Yeah, that, uh, he's very good. Eh? Yeah. He's very good at math. Mm. Very good. Tell so what happened? Best. You graduated for your education, right? Yeah. Because I remember I graduated in 20, 2018. Yeah, 2018 was my graduation. When I finished that? at 20, 2011. Yeah. Graduated at 2012. Yeah. 2012, I started honors in physics. Oh, you never went back straight to, to, to teaching? No. <clears throat> you did your honors? I did my Bachelor of Education, mm -hmm. and then I, because I had met in physics, yeah. I was uh, able to be accepted in Bachelor of Science honors in physics. Mm. Yeah. That was for a year? I did it for two years. For two years. 2012 and 2013. You nailed it. You keep it down. And then after that, you went for teaching. I did it while I was teaching. <laughs> <laughs> so I started work in 2012. Nah. Graduated. Remember, I finished the degree of education in 2011. Mm. Went to work uh, at 2012, beginning of the year. Yeah. Same year, I registered for the honors. Yeah. I was doing the honors while working. Because I was working, you had to do it part time. Yeah. So it was two years. So I did it in 2012, finished it in 2013. Yeah. yeah. Graduated in 2014. Yeah. I know and you. I registered again in 2014 for, <laughs> for the masters. Yeah. Yeah. And then and, 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 and I found my wife and uh, focused on we're, we're, other we're things. We <laughs> will <laughs> get there. So I let go of the masters and say, hey, there are things in life that I have to look into and uh, do. I'm still coming there with yeah. how you get your wife and how oh, you manage man. to get married and so forth. I still want, I'm still interested in the life of universe. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I remember, I mean, I'll tell you a story. No? It, was, it was with me and Tanta. Hey, that was a funny moment. You know, me and Tanta, we always said fight. <laughs> 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 you know, oh, we always said fight. So there was this other guy. I mean, I, I won't forget that day. Mm. There was a freshest ball at. Um, uh, uh, what you call it? Yeah, uh, the stadium. At the stadium. The stadium. And then I think we were going back to our room. By that time, we were still staying in Prefect. Mm, mm. This guy, like, he moved out of the palm of the like, bah! And then he took, like, uh, a, a stall. Mm, you know? Mm. And then I like, came running, like, uh, like, it was, like, far. I think I was at the back by then. 
more than the empowerment that the guy took the store and ran away. I mean, that's a common approach me. Eh, can I go now? If you say, put my shiny palm, when I have my heart, trust our land. And then we ran after that. We ran that guy, I think he. Mm. They are going to access to enter a close city girls. Yeah. And then the bomb them. Boom, boom. But then we kicked that guy. Uh, uh, my hands was even so. Mm, mm. But those were the moments that you knew were fun. Yeah. But besides those one, we had like great moments. Which moments do you remember that you won't forget at you knew then? My guy, uh, I, I, I remember the moments that I shared with uh, the group. Yeah. Um, like, there was a time we took a trip. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, we call it a trip, a day trip. Yeah. We went to 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 Nandoli there. Yeah. And that was nice. That was nice, my man. Yeah, we, 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 we had cruise. Uh, we had lots and lots of fun, man. Mm. <laughs> lots and lots of fun, and we even took lots of pictures that are memorable. We still have those pictures. Yeah, right? that 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 time was very 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 nice. Yeah. Very, very nice. The time I shared with uh, some of us, the mm. friends that we, we were together. Mm. You know, I've re- come <clears throat> to realize that if you don't have a uh, university experience mm. uh, or you didn't experience the university environment, you have something missing. Yeah. Because you won't remember high school. The only thing you will remember in high school is that I used to have this friend. One day he was beaten by mm. the say, mm. or he didn't write homework. It ended up one, one, one. But university, that is where you university have your experience. most of your life. You, the good times, the bad times, they connect the dots. Hmm? When was the first time you saw an artist really performing? Mm. Like, time. first time, yeah. like on a life. bigger stage, yeah. life. Most people will probably say Auditorium. university. Yeah. One of the first time you had a group of friends that you sit down and share and enjoy mm. university. Where did you learn? Where did you master yeah. your technique, your skill? Mm. University. university. Where, where did you come up with your degree? University. university. So the most experiences are found in, in, in university. So for me, Having friends to go out, enjoy, yeah. live life, and learn from each other was at university. That's the moment bro thing that I can tell you that our trip. And not <laughs> only did we go to Nandoni Dam and yeah. have fun. All, all that fun, mm. we also went to one of our friends' home, Zebediel. We Zebediel. took a trip yeah. to Zebediel. Yeah, From you event to Zebedee, <laughs> yeah. Imagine there was a, wedding a group of friends yeah. going to a friend's family wedding mm. and staying over the night. It was nice in the hospitality. The hospitality, my man, was nice. Mm. And remember, yeah, we didn't only stay next to each other and be together at mm. Carousel. Yeah, we also went to Low Seat. Low Seat. Yeah. Yeah. Like I was staying, was it with your? No, it was. Uh, it was, it was, was with okay. With was uh, with yeah. okay. Yeah. My boy. So we were still close, <clears throat> and we we we, we, we yeah we survived and we became more closer and the years went by. You even wrote an article, <laughs> and the picture that you <laughs> took. Tell them about it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been writing for a long time. Yeah. Ah, this guy yeah. wrote an article for the university newspaper. Yeah, sure. For sure. Yeah. And the article heading, I can't remember the heading, but he was talking on about the move for the better on the future. move for a better future. And he was talking about the experience of uh, transition from uh, university mm. and the university life, life and... Uh, Things that one can learn from Uri. Hey, this is what I experience in university. These are the things that one can look for in university. And some of the joy that he had from the university. And remember, where did the picture that you used for the newspaper come from? During our... During our... Having fun. Having fun. At, at Mpepo Resort. Yeah, it was at Mpepo Resort. 
but the only part which I don't like about the the, the, the picture is that I was the only one holding <laughs> <laughs> something 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 something. Uh, but it's all right, man. It's all right. It's all man. right. Uh, you know, I wrote like that. That article it was live because it was published. Yeah. Uh, I wrote three articles to to Snaledi. It's Nandi. What is what's that? Uh, uh, it's uh, Dinaledi. Uh, is it Dinaledi newspaper? Yeah, something yeah. something like that. Dinaledi in stars or something. The mm. star newspaper. Mm. I wrote two, two articles, and that one was well, well, fortunately enough it was published. Yeah. And I remember um, I was still doing industrial sociology by then. Mm. Uh, Doctor Zikanala called me. Because I didn't see the newspaper on his out, and I think like she was receiving emails, mm. and then she saw that I uh, wrote an article, an article, and she called me because she had my number, and she was like, "Yo, I saw you. You wrote an article. It was being published at Naledi." Yeah. <laughs> I was like, "Serious? Yeah. It will be printed out. It will be printed out soon." I was like, "Which one?" On the move for a better future with your friends. I was like, yes! <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, that, that yeah. was like uh, my turning point because I knew at the end of the day that uh, mm. I'm going to focus more on writing, and yeah. I'm still doing now with my blog. Yeah. And I was cool, like, man. the only way I can maintain friendship now is to make sure that I write something and being published mm. on an alley. Because that story was read, was read by the whole universe, the entire it big. community. It was big. Very big. It was big and it, it went to the heart because anyone <coughs> who was there could relate yeah, could to relate what to you were saying in the story. Ah, man. Could that relate. was a, one of the best moments I had. Because I, I still remember, like, almost all of us, because mm. I know and didn't really look at go to girls room yeah but all the guys mm. we had the clip we cut the clip of the story and we <laughs> <laughs> we put it on the wall so anybody who will come to our room will yeah, see so that my guy wrote a story and this is the, the story and that was us that still has the, the very same yeah still like, <laughs> i took a picture and you know these phones are modern yeah, so it's no, still there somewhere no. on the on the on the photo what a google photos uh, but we, yeah. we we killed it we I killed mean, it. Even life we killed, we killed it. it we killed it we had our ups mm. and downs we had our downs we, but we had most ups than downs and, we had and fun. that's part of life mm. that's part of life man. tell me about your first day at your at your work the teaching now you are employed uh, you're teaching math you're teaching what math and physics i was teaching physics yeah uh, i was teaching physics only yeah, no. I didn't teach maths even though I'm trained you to accept. teach maths. Mm. But I I loved physics because most people find it difficult mm. and it was more interesting to me why is a lot of people struggling with this thing. Mm. And I used to also struggle with it at university. Physics. Eh? Yeah, because I will get 80, 90 in maths, yeah. but I will find myself getting 50, 60 in physics. So it fascinated me, like, eh, hey, what's happening? Uh, and then, how can I master this thing? Mm. What, how can I move from this thing? Because maths is easy, so easy stuff is boring. Yeah. This is more challenging. Let me look at this more challenging, because it makes you feel alive. Mm. You know, when you do something and it's easy, like, ah, I'm not challenged. Yeah. I'm, I'm okay. So I went on for the challenging thing. Managed. Mm. Managed, managed, managed. I remember when I got my first distinction in physics. I was like, whoa. Is it me? Got a distinction in physics. Is man. it me? Yes. Is it me? How it took me for a very long time to mm. get a distinction in physics. No. Nah. Very long time. I think I took I got it when I was finishing when I was doing my was it my honors or my third year? Mm. Yeah, it was. took me a very long time. And I was very proud of getting that distinction. I was like, no, if you yeah. can do it, if mm. I can get it, then it can be done. So let me teach others yeah. how to master this. But how was the, your first day? First day in first class. First day in class. <clears throat> now it's you graduated, now you're employed. Mm. In fact, you are stationed at Mbili. Actually, Mbili is mm. one of the Top, top schools, at, top school in Limpopo. Top at, like school in Limpopo. Top is number one school in Limpopo. Yeah. 
it's difficult to take position number one from Bailey in Limpopo. Like it's like it has been top since from since from Univen. The time I was in Univen, we used to do outreach, and I was mm. told that one of the top like, top yes. top secondary school yes. in Univen it was Mbili. You happen to be stationed there. And yes. Now this is your first day. Yes. First day you're going to teach physics. Yes. <laughs> Tell me about the environment. <laughs> <laughs> I was very young by then, yeah. very young, because I went to teach when I was very young. Yeah. Uh, it was nice, man. Yeah. It was nice, and the principal was so nice. Man. Very so welcoming. Working under him was a very good experience of my life. Yeah. Like first day. Principal who? Um, uh, Mr. Lijade, NC. Yeah. Mr. Lijade, NC was the principal. He still is the principal right now. First day, Pretty I remember true. it. First day mm. of working there, 22 February yeah. 2012. Yeah. Went there. I was wearing my my, my, my my shirt and my JC, which had. Looking some, all handsome. Looking all handsome. I thought I'd dress the best, you mm. know. Went there. Went to the principal office, get some stuff, get some stuff. I didn't really meet the children the first day because you know you had admin, admin staff. But mm. the first day in class, yeah, I had this power, man. I had this energy, this confidence that you know I'm, I'm gonna to kill, kill it. it. Yeah, I'm gonna kill it, <clears throat> and I killed it. You killed it. I killed it. Students were happy. Students were happy. They gave me uh, physics part mm. for physical science, grade ten. Yeah. So I had to teach grade 10. And uh, the, my first students in yeah. 2012, oh man, they're killing it out, out there in the world, man. Nah. They're killing it out there in the world. I'm proud of those guys. Who are those students? Oh, my man. <laughs> my man. <laughs> Do you still remember their names? <laughs> yeah, I still remember yeah, a lot of them. Yeah, just give us the two of them. I man. still remember the Got Nemakavani, Nemakavani. You know, I've uh, got a lot of them. Yeah. Oh man. Oh man, that yeah. was nice, man. That was nice. Yeah. You Those created, kids. You created the future. Smart, smart kids. <clears throat> eh, were capable of doing anything. Yeah. Anything. Anything they put their minds in. Man. But the secret is when you teach, yeah. teach to inspire. Yeah. When you did it. Teach to inspire. Even if you know the content, yeah. but if you don't teach to inspire, you're just pouring water. Water. Whoever drinks will drink. Who doesn't drink will not drink. Yeah. But if you inspire, everyone gets what they need. Okay. Because I'll tell you one thing. Yeah? On my grade 10, I, I did math and physics. Mm. And then I passed it. Mm. I think like, because remember during our times, you even getting a position, like which position are yeah, you position in the total one, class? Position two. So I was in position number seven, I yeah. still remember. In fact, during my grade 10, that's the year I went to uh, my initiation school. So mm. I came back and then I killed it. Mm. I killed my maths and physics and other, like your, your geography, biology and so forth. I went to my, 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 my grade 11. But unfortunately enough, I changed school uh, mm. for my grade 11. I went to Pixwai, yeah, yeah. and then Pixwai, like I don't know what happened. We were so packed in math and physics, and then they gave us uh, the text. I think it was, was an aptitude text for math and, <laughs> mm. for math and physics. That was towards March. Ah, mm. <clears throat> uh, my guy, I was busy with something else at home. I couldn't study for that test, and then uh, I went there, writing it unprepared. Mm -hmm. And then when the results came, I was like, ah, you, you don't have to continue with your math and physics. <laughs> they said I should choose another stream, whether it's comments or what. Uh, yeah. Ah, when, when I choose, and then I took my uncle, and said, this is the situation, my uncle works there at yeah. the high school. Uh, Let's see, this is the situation now, apparently. Um, I have to either choose comments or geography. I was like, ah, oh, don't worry, I want to focus on passing your metric. Yeah. Just nail your metric and finish it. Whether it's physics or whether it's comments or we went for a geography 
stream just go there make sure that you excel but after matric have realized that the reason why i couldn't prepare or i had an attitude towards maths or to write an um, an exam towards <clears throat> to write an aptitude test mm. towards that um, subject subject yeah. is because I, the teacher uh, had an attitude towards the subject yeah like uh, i couldn't understand what it was like it made me hate maths and physics yeah. basically inspire that's the same thing <laughs> so if it didn't inspire you yeah you're not going to get to your fullest potential <clears throat> you understand so uh, it, it doesn't stop there. Mm. You know when sometimes people say, Oh, you teach this, yeah. but do you practice this? For me, it wasn't only teaching. Mm. I would practice what I teach. Mm. So if you don't understand the two, mm. that practice and teach go Hand, hand in hand, hand. when you do problem. one, you don't have the other one, mm. it's, it's something that uh, lacks in your mind, so you don't mm-hmm. inspire that much. So, you need to inspire these kids, you need to inspire them, you need to give them a vision, you need to give them a dream, you yeah. need to show them that it's possible. You understand? Because I feel like a lot of uh, our great mothers and fathers mm. were not given opportunity to grow and totally inspire those who are who are they they are teaching yeah. because uh, you need you know you need to let these educators grow yeah. wherever they are you need to let them you know when someone is teaching new business mm-hmm. and they don't even own a single business, business not yeah. even a spaza you know they're just dealing with the theory mm. not practical yeah becomes a problem. How do they inspire you whereas they're teaching you how to do business and mm. the, them themselves they don't know. They don't know anything about running a yeah. business. So that's why I say inspire them. Yeah. Show them. Even if a learner is struggling, but if you show them the dream. Yeah. And it dreams. And he knows that dreams come true. Yeah. Like, yeah, I wanna do this. How Definitely. do I do this? Can I work hard on this? <clears throat> they will definitely go come. and work hard on it, you know. Because I, when I was teaching, mm. I used to, because I, I was doing honors, you yeah. know, I used to travel. And then they will see, and my, they, teacher, I, my teacher, my teacher this week is not here. Yeah. I'll say, where did you go? I was like, I was at the Salt Telescope, yeah. at, uh, at the Karu. Yeah. I was studying stars. <laughs> I'm inspiring them. I said, ah, you were not here for the whole month. Yeah. Where were you? Yeah. Like, no, I was at Russia. Yeah. I was studying nuclear physics so that we and are able I, to produce. You, you went to Russia? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I went overseas <laughs> studying, you know, <laughs> for a month. So I went to Russia for a month mm. uh, doing nuclear uh, uh, nuclear science there, yeah. nuclear physics at an institution called. Um, what's the name of that institution? Uh, 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 Dubna. I went to Dubna. Dubna. I want to do my there's an institution there for nuclear physics. Mm. So yeah. And then you killed it. I killed it. Killed it. Came back here with a lot of knowledge. Yeah. <clears throat> so you inspire <clears throat> those learners. I say, where were you the whole mm. month? Yeah. Like I was studying this. Mm. Like, yeah, I wanna be like say. No, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You you're understand? A, you're, you're, so you're an inspiration. When you go, when you have a uh, you know, some some of the things I introduced there, like uh, some of the things were there in the school, I will pursue competitions, yeah. sasta, debates, go with the learners, yeah. practice them, say, the topic is nanotechnology, yeah. you need to go and look at it, study it, so that you are able to present it very well. Yeah. Inspire the young ones. Inspire the young ones. Just give them the hope, the dream, and they will follow. Yeah. Yeah, I know, I hear you. Besides inspiration, man, there's a lot of things that are happening at school. Mm. I don't know how you teachers are handling it. Mm. Because that's where us youth workers come in. I mean, there's a lot of bullying. Mm. Students are killing each other. I mean, they're threatening to each other. We saw the incident was trading on TV. It was on news. Mm. The student was beaten in the following day she decided to commit suicide. I mean, how's the environment? How are you guys dealing with such environment? Like, 
uh, <clears throat> rest in peace uh, to the student, to the learner. Yeah. Yes. Uh, like uh, when that happened, I was no longer at the school, you know. Yeah. I was no longer at the school, but uh, it was a sad story. Mm. It was sad. It was very sad. To, to, to hear that something that is happening, something that happened, it was very bad. Yeah. Look, this thing does not happen did, or did not happen only there. This mm. thing happens every day around this country in the school environment. Mm. Uh, it's very tough to say. Yeah. But I'm gonna tell you the truth. Yeah. Look, the system that we use in our country, in the school system, the curriculum itself, mm. and the environment that are built, especially in public schools, it does not create a better future for majority no. of the learners. The system itself. The system itself. Mm. Like when you talk about the quality of the education it's not there it is not there so at the end of the day the results are uh, are quantity rather than quality mm. because the system itself is not working properly like i can give you an example like if you are studying a certain subject let's say geography yeah. how many topics are there in geography you could do climatology, yeah. geomorphology. Yeah. No, you know these things, right? Mm. And you got the paper one ma map work and your paper two, whatever yeah. you call it. Whatever, whatever. The content is too much. Mm. You can't be teaching a grade 10 learner topics, mechanics, yeah. electricity, electrostatics. And then you change, you go to wave, sound and light, mm. and then you change, you go to... <laughs> the speed uh, of a light. <laughs> so, many, so many things yeah, for, 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 for those little ones. The mm. content is too much, too much pressure. Mm. But at the same time, mm. we cannot talk about the social ills yeah. of our communities. Our communities are struggling. Mm. There are no jobs. Yeah. Parents are struggling. Yeah. Most of them are relying on grants. Mm. Uh, you know, uh, how are you going to teach a hungry child or how are you going to teach a child who's angry? Yeah. How are you going to teach? Bullying is a serious issue. Mm. I'm not going <clears> to <throat> take that away from it. But bullying is more of a social ill rather than a school problem yeah, because like this problem are coming these people are coming from a community mm. these learners are, are, in, are in different communities and what goes on in those communities mm. they're gonna live with it and take it to 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 the environment yeah. because they're dealing with people you have your own mind i've got my own mind yeah we're two people if our minds don't Function the same way. Function the same way. We don't mm. click, so we've got a conflict. Correct. conflict but how do we deal with conflict? Mm -hmm. It's another problem. Yeah. How are you gonna deal with conflict if you watch uh, the parliament people fighting? So you yeah. think it is okay to yeah. fight? Correct. Yeah? How are you gonna deal with conflict when you listen to a radio story and from start to finish they're always fighting mm. and arguing? Mm. So you think it's okay to argue and fight because you get that from the radio story. Mm. Television, the dramas that these learners watch every day in the morning, in the afternoon, in mm. the evening. They're getting this from the social aids that we have here. And um, um, the class mm. of life orientation is not touching much from some of the social illness that are yeah. in the community. Yeah. For me, I, I feel like uh, that subject is not for me. Yeah. I feel like that subject should be scraped out in the curriculum. Yeah. Uh, give learners some, uh, replace it maybe with history. Yeah. Let them learn about the history, how people used to handle certain things, how. Uh, 
yeah. they must learn from history and learn that uh, these things occurs there was war and then there was peace why mm. why war happened and yeah. then and why did the war end and the land or hey if stay so in war is not you good you think history to be composer yeah yeah Hi- history must be composer that's my own opinion yeah by the way i'm a scientist but i'm not ever advocating for for history mm. but i do believe that uh, history is better compared to life science compared to life orientation yeah no life orientation you already learned how to live out there mm. so who's, someone is going to teach you how to live in the classroom yeah it's not going to work no. life orientation is not theory it's you experience yeah, you, you experience yeah. it you experience it so mm. that's mm. what my understanding is when it comes to this subject of bullying mm. uh, it's bad uh we must learn to communicate and by the way learners of today they know how to talk why why can they solve problems by talking they know how to engage they know how to engage to interact they were not like us we were shy yeah we didn't come out of the shell and express ourselves mm. because we were not given the freedom to express ourselves